This is an African people's only live stream. This is an African people's only live stream. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is an exciting, exciting video for me, y'all. I got my African ancestry kit in the mail, y'all. I got it in the mail. I'm so excited. <sighs> I finally, finally, finally get to know where my people come from. This is the Matri Clan test. It only tests my mother's, 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 mother's DNA. It only tests the mitochondrial DNA because I only have an XX chromosome. So if you're a male, you get to choose the matri clan or the paternal clan um, test as well. So I'm so excited y'all. We're gonna open this right now together. If I can't open it, Ooh, I don't wanna break nothing. It's in here, guys. I'm so excited, y'all. I'm so excited. Oh, it's so... Look at it, y'all. How freaking cool. Okay, so... Whew, it says, African ancestry. Trace your DNA. Find your roots today. Ooh, this, and it says right here, Matri Clan. If y'all can see that. I'm scared to even open it, you guys. Like, I'm so nervous. Okay. Let's do this gently. So this is all what comes in the kit. This is what it looks like. Probably can't see it, but ooh. All right, we're about to do this, y'all. Does it matter what cheek? Uh, 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 uh. And so it says, expect the completion of your results approximately six to eight, no, JK, approximately eight to 12 weeks from the time the lab receives your swabs. Yay, yeah, yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm gonna see where I'm from, where my mama people's from. My mama's 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 mama's. Let's hope and pray. Lord, please don't let me be. Please don't let me be European descent. Oh my mama's 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 side. Amen. See you in eight to twelve weeks. Channel. Today we are going to read the results of my African ancestry. I did the maternal DNA kit. I am here with my mother. She is going to just do a small uh, family history on us and the reason why we're doing African ancestry. Hi guys. My family history is kind of complicated and it gave us a huge roadblock on my mother's side. My mother's grandmother died while in childbirth while having my grandmother, which is my mother's mother. So after my grandmother, my mother's mother, we have absolutely no information. My mother's mother is African American and her father is white. We want to find out where our history comes from as far as Africa is concerned. Yes, so I'm so excited. As you can see, I got on a little African garb. I got this made in Ghana. I got my African earrings, you know, I'm ripping Ghana. Shout out to Africa, shout out to Senegal, shout out to Ghana, shout out to Liberia. Togo, you see this? Togo, black. So let's see, guys. Y'all see? Congratulations, your results are here. Greetings, Diamond. Welcome to the African Ancestry Family. Okay, where do you think we're from? Top three. Okay. Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to Ghana, so we're going to say Ghana. going to say okay. Ghana. Um, I want to be from Senegal. Okay. I'm going to be from Senegal or Madagascar. All right, so yours is Ghana, Senegal, Madagascar. I feel like we're from a small country like Guinea, Guinea-Bissau, 
Hmm. Maybe Sierra Leone or Cameroon. I see a lot of those come up on there, so that's why I'm saying this. I'd be okay with all of those. To be honest, I really don't care. Yeah. You ready? A countdown? Yes. For three or five? Five. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Lord, please, please don't let me be white. <laughs> Say that. <laughs> I'm nervous, y'all. Welcome to the African ancestry family. I'm about to cry. <laughs> me too. Feel real emotional. <gasps> We're from Cameroon. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> it is with great pleasure to, to report your matric plan test. We have determined you share a maternal genetic answer with T car people in Cameroon today. I told you. <laughs> we Cameroonian. I knew it. I am T car. What's up, T car people out there? Do we love Tikar? Oh, <laughs> we compared parts of your maternal inherited DNA to that of people from around the world to look for matches. Using the largest set of African maternal DNA samples available today, we find found identical 100% oh matches my God. Oh with, my your, God. with the DNA of Tikar people. This means at some point... In 500 to 2,000 year history, your maternal lineage, mother to mother to mother, there was a T-Car woman. Oh my God, I want to cry. We are 100% T-Car. I got to go to Cameroon, y'all. Oh my God. I'm going to Cameroon. I'm we are 100%. Honey, not even 50, not 75. I'm crying. I'm literally crying. Where is the T-Car? Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, okay, okay. Our analysis <laughs> focuses on the hype, you know, hypervariable regions one, two, and three. Your statistical confidence measures or sequence similar sc similarity scores a hundred percent. We are hundred percent T car. Oh my god! What's up, T car people? Where y'all at? Where are my cousins at? This is it. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> We are T car. We from Cam. I knew it. I said we from Cameroon. My people in Cameroon, y'all. You can't debate it. I'm Cameroonian. I'm claiming it. When I go back to Ghana, because that's where I like to be most of the time. I'm gonna tell them people I'm Cameroonian. Me too. Anybody ask now? I'm Cameroonian. I'm Cameroonian. For a hundred percent, we know we're Cameroonian. For sure. For sure. Maternally. Like, maternally, like for sure. Like yeah. my children gonna be Cameroon. <laughs> yes, we can ruin it. Might as well take this gotta off. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> We are Cameroonian. What is uh, <laughs> the national anthem? Yes, Cameroon national anthem. Let's go. <laughs> are we supposed to see? <laughs> Okay, guys, I found some uh, article about the T-Car people. I'm gonna read some quick stuff. So what I've read so far is that the T-Car people came from Sudan and traveled down to present day Cameroon. The standard of living for the T-Car people was above those from other ethnic groups. The T-Car people was known for their sophistication in government, war, and the arts, including a bronze casting process for making masks. While the Tikar lived in Cameroon, most of the people with Tikar ancestry lived the good life. We wasn't struggling. Lived the good life. Um, vocational training was the norm for Tikar boys, and teachers taught various forms of craft making, wood carving, mask carving, and making bronze sculptures. 
The Sea Car people also developed a process for using hot wax to make masks and bronze sculptures. During the height of the Tea Car Empire, many Tea Car people were also gifted in music, dancing, acting, and writing. The Tea Car are among the most industrious people in Cameroon. Urban Tea Car boys, boys for the highest marks on math exams. That's what's up! That's what's up! I'm so excited. Most Tea Car children earn the highest grades. That's why I'm smart! That's why, That's why smart. I'm smart! That's why I was gifted when I was yes. gifted! Yes! Yes! It says urban tea car students are reported to be the most gifted in arts and crafts, music, writing, and math. Well, I don't know about math, but I did music, y'all, growing up. I did arts and crafts. I'm artsy. I love music. I'm singing. I did singing. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. Writing. I used to write stories all the time, poems. I don't know about that math, but math skipped all over What? Us. For three centuries, the Takar ruled present-day Cameroon and Central Africa with sophistication, but with an iron fist and heavy tax burdens on people from other ethnic groups. It was also reported that because of their high standard of living, there were more than 1 million people with t card ancestry by 1800. However, trouble came. Research revealed that by 1800, several African ethnic groups had joined the Europeans to fight the t card people who were known for their quick ability to learn in their... Man, they were haters. haters. That was haters. That was haters. That was, was haters. That's how we got to That's freaking how we America. Got here we would have been in it. Africa. We would have been in Cameroon, living a good life. But they hated, hated. because we were some hated. hated. We was bougie. We was living a good life, and they was haters. Hating. Haters. So they okay. got with the man. That's they got with the white stuff. man. See, we wasn't with it. Research revealed that by 1800, several African ethnic groups had joined the Europeans to fight the T car people who were known for their quick ability to learn and their sophistication and for being hated by surrounding Africans. <laughs> yeah, they was haters. The t car were unable to obtain modern weapons. They were never able to take control over the coast. So they were caught in the middle between the coast and the north. Y'all was haters. Y'all haters. Y'all was haters. Whatever the other African groups, y'all haters, houses, haters. <laughs> uh, who else? Who else they said? Them other people from Lottie's haters. 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 Anyways. The T Car people, as the T Car people attempted to abandon their traditional grassy savannas in the plains where they were easy, where they were easy slave trade targets with no natural protection. They were forced to leave their villages with slave traders on one side and poor hostile tribes on the other side seeking revenge. Whew. One of the strategies they applied to fight off the enemy was to dig moats around villages. These still exist in at least five kingdoms. However, the strategy failed and the survivors found refuge in the forest. The transatlantic slave drained their brightest and most physically fit young people. Having been greatly weakened by war and the slave trade, they became vulnerable to neighboring groups who had been subjected to by the T-Car people for several Several centuries. <laughs> they got us back, y'all. Hey, I mean, <laughs> wow, we was really ruling. We was, we was a ruling class. Yeah, we were. We was a ruling class. You know, that's kind of messed up. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, we, you know, I had to text y'all and we did. Yeah, but you sorry, y'all. That's what we was do. That's what we do. Period. I bet Beyonce T car. She probably did. She probably did. Um, she gives me tea card vibes. She gives me tea card. Very artsy, creative, like mm -hmm. me. Bossy. Bossy. We're running things. We are we are the Beyonce of the ethnic group. Yes, we are. The tea yes, cards we are. Is Beyonce of the ethnic group. Yeah. Tea card on say. Tea card on say. All right. Thanks, y'all, for watching. We are so excited to find out where our African ancestors came from. Yay. Ooh, I can't wait to put this video out. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Bye, y'all.